Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. So before we get into our short video tutorial today, we've got a special link for you in the description of the video down below, which will give you free access to a trial version of the Squarespace editor. So today we're gonna to do a short tutorial on how to change the whole background color in Squarespace. It's very simple and very easy to access. And you can only change the background color per section in Squarespace. Um, so, you know, you can make that change site-wide on those particular sections, which I'll explain to you in a second. But, like, as you can see on this template that I'm using here for demonstration purposes, that, for example, the background color of this section here wouldn't change. That's a whole image. So, um, however... As I demonstrate to you in a second, we are able to change the background color of any section that's kind of just got text on it or anything like that. Um, so in your website editor, when you've in editing mode, so what you'll need to do is uh, select the section first that you want to change the whole background color on, and then hit this edit section button here, the little pencil symbol next to it, usually exists in the top right. And here you've got a couple of options. Uh, so first and foremost, if you hit the background tab, you're able to upload an image, a video, or use a preset, like piece of art is what they call it, which I'll show you right now. So obviously you could upload a block of color as an image. You could make that very easy, uh, or a gradient or something like that. And if you go to art, and it allows us to browse like a couple of different preset backgrounds that are slightly animated. So if I click that one, for example, you can see that it's kind of moving as well and it kind of animates in. Um, and, you know, you could use one of them. And to change the color on that, you just hit these little sliders here. So the button beneath the image. And then that gives you access to the background color right there. So if you hit that little circle that's currently red. Um, we can change that background color then to white or whatever you want. And if you hit uh, custom here, that gives you access to the color picker, which is very easy to use. And uh, you can just select whatever color you'd like there. So another way then, um, if I deselect some art, would be to go to the colors tab. And you can see here that I've got access via text link to the theme editor for that section. So when you click that, it opens up this little sub menu here where you're actually able to just set a static color for that background uh, for that particular section as you can see um whenever i click there it takes change live on the editor so you can see it as well um however uh, you'll be able to see that that color has also been applied to the section down here just like not to the image so um it'll kind of colorize the the background of all sections that are um in that sort of same type if that makes sense to you um just a little bit of text in there or whatever um so like a, a transparent section then in other words um if you go back then to here you're able to uh, overlay some colors with the background as well so if i go back into edit section for that um, and then colors again and theme editor you're able to get a background overlay and also insert a border and also affect the text color changes here as well and that concludes our video tutorial. So don't forget that there's a link in the description of the video for an access to a free trial of the Squarespace editor for you. Um, and if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos uh, or any requests or anything like that, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.